Hey guys, welcome to another server minor plugin tutorial. I'm your host LGJim007 and today we're looking at the Graves plugin. So this is a really fantastic plugin which allows you to store your items in a grave once you die and then you can come back to the location and pick it up within the time limit. So if we were to look at this, you can see there's a cool hologram up at the top and if we grab our items out of it, it's going to disappear completely and if we had any XP, we would get that back as well. So if we look at the commands by doing forward slash graves, there's only a few. If we do forward slash graves cleanup, that's going to just remove all of the holograms. And then if we go into this grave and take everything out, this one is going to disappear as well. You can see it's just a mini chest like that. And it says grave looted in chat. So if we go ahead and get some experience bottles and just give them to ourselves we can test whether it saves the XP. So now we can do forward slash kill and my username and then you can see the message in chat. It says you have a death chest at these coordinates and it lasts for three hours. So obviously we can change that in the config file so we'll take a look at that in a bit. But let's go ahead and go back to the death chest and as you can see it says there is 162 XP here there's 15 items and we've got 2 hours, 59 minutes and 36 seconds. So all we need to do is grab everything out of the chest and then once we have done that we will get the XP from the grave. You can see we received 162 and there we go. That's as simple as it gets and obviously you can reload the config file if you've changed anything in there. So let's hop over to the config file now and see what we can do with it. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel and as you can see there are two files. So the bottom one is actually empty so we don't need to worry about that but if we go into the config.yml we can see what we can change in here. So up at the top we can change the grave time, how long it lasts. So 10,800 is the amount of seconds in three hours as you can see here. If you want to change it to a different time obviously you can get out a calculator and work out how many seconds in a day or an hour or whatever. Then we have the grave block and skin, so it's a player's head with the skin of a chest. Then we have the grave title, so it's the entity's grave. And then do you want the grave to be able to be broken, exploded, and do you want it to be protected? And you can also have a protected message and sound as well, it just depends uh, whether you want that option or not. Then we have the grave failure, so in certain circumstances it won't be able to create a grave because maybe it blocks in the way or whatever. And we have the open and close sound down here, the death message, and the loop message as well with a sound effect. We also have the XP storage, so do you want that to be the case? You can obviously disable that, and then the XP message as well. We have the grave entities, so at the moment only players create them, but you could have all mobs, or players and zombies, or players and creepers, or whatever you want. Then we have the hologram, so this looks really cool. You can obviously tweak the color codes and the text to make it more customizable. And then we have the seconds, minutes, hours, and days, depending on how long you have to loot it. Finally, we have what blocks can the graves replace? So um, you might be standing on top of some grass or some water and it will still be created there. As you can see, there is a long list of items it will replace. Obviously you can add more items or remove them, but that is everything in the config file. So that is everything. If you want to download the plugin, head over to the Spigot page. It's updated to the latest version of Minecraft 1.15. And as you can see, there's lots of information on the Spigot page. If you need any help, contact the developer. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. That's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.